So let's do now a remedy search or remedy comparison. If I go here to the top menu bar and click on the little triangle, you see there's a search and advanced search. We already discussed this for searching on words. But you can also use this for a remedy search or remedy comparison. Let's say I see here the remedy bismuth and I want to know all the rubrics where it is listed in the repertory. Now I can use the search box here at the top or on the keyboard press the question mark or I can use here via the little triangle the simple search or the advanced search or click on the main button and it depends on what you have set if the simple search or the advanced search window will open. So let's use this time here the search box. I start to type bismuth and there's a long list here. These ones which are all black are words and then in blue are the remedies. Now there are so many options and here the green ones are the family searches. Now there are so many options. If I do bismuth dot I am immediately at the correct one. So if you use the exact remedy abbreviation you immediately have the one with remedy behind it so you can do a remedy search. But please keep in mind that for example APIS is not an abbreviation so you cannot type the dot. And in this case, so let's do it here, in this case here APIS, this is the one I need. So let me click here on APIS and I press enter on the keyboard and I have found now all the symptoms where APIS is listed. Okay, let me double click here on one of them. I'm in the repertory. So let me do it again. On the keyboard I type question mark and it opens the simple search window. I start to type BISM and the long list opens and if I do a dot I'm immediately at the correct one. So the old abbreviation of Bismuth. And I type enter, enter and there I am and I have found 1632 rubrics where Bismuth is listed. And you see immediately the degree, degree 1, degree 2, degree 3 and there's also degree 4. So I double click here and I go to that symptom. So let's do now the advanced search. If I click here on the main button it opens the advanced search. It's not needed, but let me click here on the clear icon. And there are boxes for words, remedies, families, etc. So in the box of remedies, I start to type the remedy. So for example, B-E-L-L -L for Belladonna. There are some options left. I can click, of course, on this one or on. I press the dot and then enter. And there I am. And I press enter. And the question is, do I want to add another remedy? If I press enter, it will just search for Belladonna. And as you know already, by default, it searches here in the current document only. And that is the document where you came from. So I came from the synthesis and it searches only in the synthesis. Okay, I double click on a symptom and I go to the repertory. So let's make it now a little bit more complicated. I want to search, for example, the remedy Ignatia in the whole repertory, but only for rubrics which are not larger than, for example, 20 remedies. So I click here on the main button and I open the advanced search. I delete my previous search and I type here EGN dot and I have Ignatia. I do enter, enter so that the next box opens. Then you see here the little blue icon. If I click on it, I have several search options. You see that the, all the degrees 1, 2, 3, 4 are selected, but I want here rubrics containing less than or equal. And so let's make it very clear. Let's do, for example, 10. I say OK. Then in the left upper corner, I click on the Start Search icon, or on the keyboard, I just press Enter. And now you see I have found here 1856 rubrics where Ignatia is found in uh, rubrics which do not have more than 10 remedies. I double click on one and I'm in the repertory. 
So let me do now a remedy comparison. So I see here, for example, Ignatia and Natum Raticum. And I want to know uh, which rubrics they have in common and which rubrics are exclusive. So again, I open the advanced search, so I can use here the function key F5 or click here on the main or click on the main button. So let me clear my search. I type here EGN dot enter, enter again. I do not minus M and if I do a dot, there I am, enter. Now remember to press enter again to open the next box. Now here at the top, click on remedies and there are some options. By default, it selected symptoms with all these remedies. So if I select that one and start the search, I get one list with Ignatia and Natriaticum. Then I have here symptoms with at least one of these remedies. So that's clear. Then I have symptoms for each remedy individually. Okay, let me do that one. I click in the left upper corner on the start icon. Now I have two tabs, one where Ignatia is. And possibly if Natrum Eratum is there, it will also show it. But it will give you a list where Ignatia must be in. And optionally, it shows you if Natrum Eratum is there, yes or no. And the same with Natrum Eraticum. These are all the symptoms where Natrum Eratum is in. And optionally, it shows you if Ignatia is there, yes or no. So let me continue. The next one is just a little error in the menu. Just ignore it. It's by accident double in the list. Then the last one is symptoms which they have in common and exclusive. So let me select that one. And I start my search in the left upper corner. Or I could have just pressed enter again on the keyboard. Now I have three tabs. One where Ignatia and Natomaticum is in both. One Ignatia and without Natomaticum and one natrium article without Ignatia. So let me double click here on a symptom and there I am in the repertory. So I think this was quite complex and enough for this video.